As your application grows, the number of assets will likely increase, making proper organization essential, and that's when bundles come to the rescue. That being said, bundles are essentially collections of assets. To create a bundle, we use the addBundle method, which takes two arguments, a name and an object containing the URLs of the files we want to load. With these two blocks of code, we are defining the blueprint for the assets that will be loaded. Now, to load a bundle, we call the loadBundle method and pass the bundle's name as an argument. Next, to access an asset from the bundle, we use its corresponding property name. Once again, as your app grows in size, even grouping your assets into bundles can lead to significant amounts of redundant code. In that case, we can separate the bundles into a JSON file. To achieve that, I'll begin by creating a file named manifest.json, and this is the structure of the data. So, we have a bundles array with each element being an object that represents a specific bundle. The alias is the name we use to access a certain asset within the bundle. Now, to use one of the assets, we first need to load the manifest file. Finally, we load one of the bundles and then access the file using its alias.